walk through the basics of making a tile tool for mirror grinding, in this case an 8 inch diameter tool made out of tiles that would usually be used at the bottom of a swimming pool, and dental stone, and some other tools. Uh, the reason for using dental stone is actually quite interesting. Many people are now using plaster, plaster of Paris, and then uh, discover that it's porous as all get out <laughs> and it has to be coated in a layer of epoxy and then the tiles have to be applied to that afterwards using more epoxy and that gets kind of messy and things have to work quickly because epoxy is either very slow or very fast and most people tend to use the five minute epoxy and that gets uh, pretty pretty stressful. In this case dental stone not dental plaster dental stone is a uh, gypsum based product that hardens in about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, for an 8 inch tool I'm using just about uh, 2 pounds and 3 ounces of dental stone and 11 ounces of water, cool water. And the, the plan goes something like this. Um, first, get your uh, all of your equipment together. We've got uh, a mirror blank and the tile. The tile's been cut to a circle just slightly under 8 inches in diameter. The tiles are held together by uh, threads and, and whatnot that are bonded into the tile so that actually makes the spacing permanent. You'll need some Vaseline jelly and some alum aluminum foil, a plastic uh, barrier maybe six or six inches tall or so that can be used as a dam or a mold to uh, keep the stuff from flowing everywhere. You need your dental stone and some duct tape and a timer. And so uh, there's there's the equipment list. The process is to get your your mirror first coated in a thin film of Vaseline. And once you've got it uh, coated on on one side with Vaseline, and I like to go a little bit around the edges, you then coat uh, the mirror uh, rough side down with uh, a layer of aluminum foil. A lot of people use plastic bag material or saran wrap or cling film, your choice of materials, but uh, I don't like plastic and aluminum is recyclable so I'll use the uh, I'll use the aluminum foil for this and then you wrap uh, your dam material around it. And this is going to be the edge of the mold that uh, keeps the dental stone from flowing out onto your tabletop. Uh, you wrap it around and then I use duct tape to seal it shut. In this case it's a flexible polystyrene material. Um, almost almost like a thin version of uh, house siding. And then uh, into that uh, you place the tile. You place the tile so that the, uh, the tile side is uh, down toward the mirror, toward the aluminum foil, and the connecting pieces of fiber that hold the tile together are up. And what's going to happen when you pour the dental stone on this, the dental stone will settle in between the cracks of the, the tile and embed the tile into the tool that you make. Next step is to gather your dental stone into a large bowl and get the appropriate amount of water. I don't recommend uh, using too much water. There are some places that allow a lot of water to be used, but you want this to be mixed up really rapidly. It gets hard fast. And I found that 11, and 11 to 12 ounces of water is perfectly fine. And it sets up within 10-15 minutes. And it gets warm. It gets to about 150 Fahrenheit. It gets pretty warm as it, as, it, uh, as it sets. So once that's mixed up like a fine paste maybe just a, a, a very a heavy slurry. You can pour that into the mold and then walk away for about 10 minutes. Before it's completely solid it's good to remove the mold and then take a scrubby sponge and remove the material from the tile surface and to smooth out the edges a little bit. And once you do that you'll see that there are probably some pits in there that need to be filled. You can make up a separate uh, batch of the dental stone and fill those pits and then if you need to uh, 
make the notches in the tool again, all you have to do is take a carborundum sharpening stone and run an edge uh, inside where the dental stone is and, and kind of carve in between the tiles a little bit. And uh, in the interior, I'm going to show a couple of uh, real quick stop action uh, sessions of uh, the making of the tool and then the uh, taking the tool out of the mold at the very end. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps out.